Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 9 of Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, for this channel, I think I'll just take out the supports and the paralogues that happen in this game. I'm just going to focus on recording the main story for this channel, so hope you guys don't mind. And the, the War of the Eagle Alliance today, there's a special dish in the dining hall, partake in the festivities, of course. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? I didn't pick you two. The game just picked it for me. But all right. So yeah, um, I think we're all good to go. Actually, I think I'll look at the inventory. Yeah, I have recruited Flane and Shamir in my free time, so yeah. Okay, I think we're good to go. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion, a traditional contest of strengths between the three houses, has arrived. It will take place at Grounder Field, which lies in Imperial territory. Let's go. Oof, gotta save. Grander Field is in the Empire. It's actually part of my family's territory, House Burgley's. It is the largest field in all of Fodlan. The grain it produces sustains the whole Empire. Wait, I sure hope we don't destroy all that grain. It is considered the most suitable place for a large-scale battle. Professor, if it were up to you, how would you approach this battle? That sounds like a certain someone we both know. But as you wish, we'll use whatever strategy you think is best. If the Black Eagle House bands together, we won't lose. Our strength is superior. So if we do lose, it will be on your shoulders, Professor. If you are not confident you can do this, just sit back and leave it to me. <laughs> the most you will do is make things worse. You'll just get in Lady Edelgard's way. Are you two about to fight? Oh, <laughs> count me in! Wait, no, no, I think we all need to calm down. We have no lack of opponents. I am ready to go hunting for our enemies. Hunting isn't exactly... Well, I guess they're pretty similar, actually. I'm just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. Bernie. This will be your first battle, won't it, Flame? You don't seem nervous at all. <laughs> I shall give it my all. Our battle will begin shortly. The flag of the Black Eagles will soon grace Grander Field. Okay, um, I think preparations are done. Shamir won't be uh, available. Hey, let's look at the map here. Okay, there's Ash over here. Hmm. There's Art Boy over there. Leonis, the lazy ass. 
Uh, wait, that's Hilda. Oops, <laughs> I got the name all complicated. Okay, it is Hilda. Leone, Claude, Raphael, Marianne. Okay, I'll just have to buy a chest key. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. Forward, now! For honor! The ballista in the center of the battlefield. The house that secures it will have a clear advantage. Will prevail. That's my cue. I will get the victory. and blue lions are fighting. Maybe we can sneak right past them. A stronghold for me to seize. Splendid. There goes Lawrence acting on his own. Guess we've got no choice but to capture the central hill and cover it. Now's 
our chance. Mindful. Just like that. Stay focused. You 
fought well. Such power dwells within? This was beneath me. Seems simple. Only a fool challenges me. Each battle, a chance to grow. For Lady Edelgard. This is harder than expected. Can I push myself with you as my foe? This will be a great chance to test our metal. Do not underestimate me, Professor, or you will fail. Shut up! 
So, it is time to cross blades. I never imagined such a day would come to pass. If the Empire and the Kingdom go to war, we'll be able to fight as much as we please. I am sorry, but that is not something to joke about. The thought of fighting you is troubling at best. In that case, I wonder when you'll be able to stomach facing me in battle. Do you need a few moments? One step at a time. I fear I cannot fight any longer. I'm sorry, everyone. Please continue onward to victory! to say it, but it seems we're at a stalemate. Looks like the Golden Deer won't be winning this round. Appreciate it. is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... The Black Eagles! Thank you for your hard work, everyone. I dare say that prize is as good as ours. Edelgard, Professor, that was a spectacular battle. You both fought exceptionally well. Complete and utter defeat. I would hate to make an enemy of you two. No need to get carried away with praise. I know you both feel we won by a paper-thin margin. And I won't deny it. If we were to fight again, there's no telling who would prevail. What do you think, Professor?
Professor. Well, I suppose it's okay to let victory go to your head just this once. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. True, although the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was originally named after a war between the Empire and the Kingdom. But that's all in the past. I'm sure even the name will one day fade from the pages of history. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. It would be a fine opportunity to get to know each other better. Count me in. So be it. Let's plan to meet up on the night we return. Is that okay with you, Professor? Seeing such a big smile on your face is a rare gift. It makes me feel like I can maybe relax a little too. It's finally over! There are way too many strangers at that feast. Put your chin high, Bernie. It was a chance for you to have growth. Everyone was acting so friendly! It was overwhelming! Linhart, I wasn't done talking to you! If those Alliance guys came at it from here, and those Kingdom guys came from there... I know, I know. We'd have been able to take them out all at once. I heard you. I'm going to bed now. Did anyone get the feeling that there were already couples forming? That's not really fair, is it? I wanted to sneak off with someone too. <laughs> I was hoping for some tea after our meal anyway. Would you care to join me? Thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Noble. I already have my heart set on someone else. Until today, I thought it would fall to me to command and guide our ranks all by myself. But with you leading us, I've gotten to experience what it's like to fight alongside everyone. And I've realized how happy it makes me, fighting under your command. The Emperor doesn't take orders from anyone. It's their duty to stand alone and lead the entire Empire. But maybe it's better to have someone to rely on, so that you can support and guide each other through the darkness. I may be heir to the Imperial Throne, but first and foremost, I'm your grateful student. That will never change, even when I fulfill my destiny and become the Emperor. I told you long ago that I wished to enlist you in the service of the Empire. Well, I take it back. Now I wish only for your continued guidance during my eventual reign. Don't just hide away in the corner, Professor. You're the reason we're celebrating. Because of you that I've had the courage to leave my room for a bit each day. I'm... I'm so grateful, Professor! <laughs> we were all just discussing how well you led us. Remarkable! Your guidance is without parallel, Professor. <laughs> I have had practicing of that phrase. 
Your training's been top notch. Really? <laughs> Whatever would we do without you? I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. I feel the same. You are something special, my teacher. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the Mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, Next month, your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. And this is actually my birthday in this month. Well, in this game anyway. You see, 5,000 gold. All right. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Remeyer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. 
You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor, a bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the Knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. <laughs> <laughs> 